You know, competition has been at the root of all conflict and discord we've seen in WWE over the past few weeks. And tonight, it all comes to a head. Tonight, the scores will be set. Enough of the preliminaries. Here we go. Singles action on tap right now. And here is the big dog. Making his way to the ring from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the world hardcore champion, Roman. He's not a good guy, he's not a bad guy, he's just the guy. And at this point in his career, that is flat out undisputable. There's one guarantee, whenever Roman Reigns enters an arena, he stirs up incredible emotion. The beast from the East has opponent, arrived. From Asbury Park, New Jersey, weighing in at 393 pounds, Bam Bam Bigelow. Hey, Corey, you ever thought about tattooing your head? Once or twice. Bam, bam, Bigelow's here, and I'll tell you one of my favorite moments of all time in sports entertainment, the night of 1998, when he slammed Taz right through the ring. One of the most dominant athletic superstars ever to step foot inside the square. And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Oh, man. Matches like this rarely end inside the ring, which is what makes them so unpredictable. Oh, man. 
He's got the shoulders down. Oh, quick shot from Bam Bam Bigelow. It's going to take more than that. This might be it. Oh, my. Guys, the most important thing for a superstar to remember in a Falls Count Anywhere match is that anything goes. And I do mean anything. I hope someone uses you as a weapon, Saxton. Nailed it. Now it's Roman Reigns on his heels. But he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. It's hard to tell at this point, but perhaps the unpredictable nature of this match is too much for him to overcome. As Byron mentioned, anything goes in this one, which means we're likely to see a liberal use of weaponry here tonight. And keep in mind, Cole, the fact that there's no disqualification also means that anybody can interfere and there's nothing you can do about it. Oof. And into a quick cover is Roman Reigns. No trouble getting out of that one. So resourceful. You know, I'd say the Falls Count Anywhere match was popularized back in the Attitude Era, but before that, I remember Pat Patterson and Sergeant Slaughter's famous 1981 Alpha fight, which many consider to be the precursor to Falls Count Anywhere. There may be no escaping this fireman's carry. I don't know. Never say never, Cole. He's going for the pin. It's going to take more than that to keep his shoulders down. Too early in the match to end it. As Byron mentioned, the Pat Patterson, Sergeant Slaughter, alley fight had many of the elements of a false count. Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. This just ain't gonna. And he breaks free just when you thought he was out of this one. He's got him on his heels and shows no signs of letting up. The Beast from the East, Bam Bam Bigelow, has an incredible win-loss record. That Here he gets Superman punch! Good night! He needs the cap. His shoulders are down. Digging deep for a kick out! Wow. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Bam Bam Bigelow with a nice reversal. Bam Bam also won a share of championships. The Beast from the East won 17 gold in Japan, as well as held the ECW World and TV Championships. He was one half of the WCW Tag Team Champions and held the WCW Hardcore title. I hope Bam Bam Bigelow was feared everywhere he went. The giant of a man had a massive flame tattoo that covered his entire skull. If you're looking for mean and nasty, Bam Bam Bigelow will give you all that and then some. He's looking to fly. Whoa! Shoulders down, is it enough? And Bam Bam Bigelow powers out. That's too early for that. This is attack. Bigelow is out. This may very well be it. That match deserves another look. Here we go. He ain't messing around. Yeah, he's putting in the work. This was another great moment. And I always enjoy watching him perform. Here is your winner, Roman. Kicking off the night with an impressive victory.
If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the card unfold. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. The Beast! Making his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar! The most decorated combat athlete in history. Brock Lesnar is hazardous to your health. I felt the wrath of Brock Lesnar. You don't want to get in the ring with this man. You don't want to get in the ring with him. You don't want to get in the cage with him. You don't want to eat breakfast with him. Brock Lesnar will hurt you wherever he's at. I'm trying not to make eye contact with him. The most decorated combat athlete in the world. Lucha! Lucha! And his opponents, first, from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 168 pounds, Kalisto! What a great match we have here to start off this night, guys. And Michael, I had to check twice when I saw this match listed as our opener. I mean, it could very well have been our main event. As the list of victims that have been dismembered at the hands of Brock Lesnar continues to grow. I don't think he can be put in a type of match or have a match stipulation that prevents him from still being the odds on favor to win. The unpredictability of a triple threat match makes this almost impossible to predict. Any one of these three can walk out of here the winner. You gotta believe this one's over. Beautiful technique. Oh, nasty impact.
He's positioned up on that turnbuckle. I would not want to be him right now. Impactful oh, slam! Now it's Lesnar taking some punishment. To be expected, though, it's not like he's in there with the slouch guys. I hate to say it, but if he doesn't change his game plan soon, these two guys are going to tear him limb from limb. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. Uh-oh. Ooh, what impact. Head scissors applied. Oh, oh, look at this. Harsh impact. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't believe that, that, that he didn't win this match right there. Too soon. Surprised. How in the world? Close line! <laughs> what a punch! He's not looking like himself here. But things can change in an instant in a triple threat match. He's got to be careful here. While he hasn't absorbed too much punishment yet, triple threat matches have a way of getting out of hand very quickly. This match is so evenly contested right now that it's almost impossible to pick a winner. I guess we'll just have to settle in and enjoy the action. Real quick reminder, guys. There are no disqualifications and no countouts in this one. Anything is legal. Oh, and there are enough weapons under the ring to fill an armory. Not leapfrog. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Kalisto. Didn't have to dig very deep to kick out of that one. I don't think his opponent was expecting that. Corey, we've seen unbelievable championship matches and triple threat contests over the years. You're absolutely right. The fact that a champion does not have to submit or be pinned or be factored in the decision at all to lose their championship is something that can influence their approach. He might have it. Chair. Driver! He's really looking to prove a point here. Might as well run for the scene. We've got a And he stops the count. Uh-oh. Kalisto is looking at oh, the back of the neck. What's going to happen now? What a combination, Cole. That <laughs> Sit back, people. This one's not over yet. That's too early for that. What a stomp. Good grief. for the finish. Kalisto is getting ready here. When Brock is feeling it, good luck to you. These guys are giving it their all here tonight. Not just to entertain the fans, but to ultimately walk away with the win. Oh boy, he is rolling. Here we go. Nailed it. He's, ooh, he might just win this thing right here. It is looking real bad for Kalisto. Oh, the reversal by Brock Lesnar. Boom! Oh, right. He's resilient, but he may not be doing himself any long-term favors by staying in this one. There may be no coming back from this. Clearly, they're both running on fumes right now, and at this point... He can pin his opponent right here. Not much behind that pin attempt. Too soon. Chair just dropped. Here's his moment, Michael. He can end it here. Two, three. Yes, unreal performance. Well, they don't call it extreme rules for nothing, guys. Let's take another look. He ain't playing here. He's getting it done here. No doubt about it, he brought his A game, as you can see here. Here is your winner, Kenny Omega. 
And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fashion. And if that matches any indication of what to expect here tonight, we are in for an amazing evening. What a way to kick off tonight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started. Making his way to the ring from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, the Hardcore Television Champion, Dolph Ziggler. As a reminder, falls count anywhere, guys, here in this upcoming one-on-one -on -one matchup. Which means we'll likely see these two superstars taking the fight all over this arena, Cole. Heck, they might even spill out into Main Street. We've seen that before. The Cerebral Assassin has arrived! Connecticut, weighing in at 260 pounds. Triple this is Triple H's Eight. world. The spotlight is his home. A Grand Slam champion, one of the all-time greats. Yeah, former European champion, former Intercontinental champion, tag team champion, and WWE champion. Triple H is right where he belongs in the spotlight with the eyes of the WWE Universe fixated squarely on his chiseled physique. Broke into the main event scene with the likes of The Rock, McFoley, Big Show, all at WrestleMania 2000. And has never looked back since. The man has main evented seven WrestleManias and continues to grow his legend in WWE. From the midnight workouts to the endless dieting, Triple H prides himself on always being ready. I just hope Triple H's opponent tonight is as mentally tough as they think they are because the Cerebral Assassin is at the top of the game. This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. 
And I wouldn't at all be surprised if this match stole the show here tonight. You know, even though the title is not on the line, this is still an important match for the champ. He can't afford to show any weakness here. position to be in right now. Yeah, situations like this usually don't end very pleasantly. Looking for all the glory here. And Ziggler quickly kicks out. Nah, not yet. Too early. Boom with the button. Well, guys, the referee should have it relatively easy here tonight because, as you know, in a false count anywhere match, anything goes. Yeah. Man, Sigler gets out of the way quickly. Lightning speed from Dolph. Nice. Drop down. With precision. Dolph Ziggler is going in for the kill. Triple H with some reason to worry here. Hard to argue your take on how do you do that? I don't know, Michael, but good thing. I don't think he could have taken much more of that. Breaking the rules. He gets it with a reversal. A superstar cannot go move for move with Dolph Ziggler. Ziggler's knowledge of holds and aerial maneuvers means you have to figure out how to contend with the show off on the ground and in the air. Not where he wants to be right now. Hey, he got himself into this mess. Well, he's got to get himself out of it now. Oh boy, he is rolling. Corey, what you talked about earlier is one of the reasons why Dolph Ziggler's been so successful in WWE. Whether it's mat-based holds or air attacks, Ziggler is more than... Look at Dolph Ziggler with the famous arm. Can he end it here? Absolutely pun... He's got him covered. One, two, and how they survived that is anyone's guess. Wow. Yeah, but it's all about sustaining that effort. Let's hope he can do it. Look at Dolph Zig Zigzag. The game getting absolutely... His shoulders are down. One, two, three. The pinfall and the victory. We've got some highlights from the last one queued up. Here we go. Look at him go. He was on point the entire match, as you can see here. Yeah, the performance put forth in tells me we're looking at somebody who will see competing in the event. That's just the stay tuned from Gretchen.
Batten down the hatches. Here comes the monster among men. Making his way to the ring, weighing in at 385 pounds, Braun Strowman. The earth is trembling with each step. I would do anything not to get stuck inside the ring with Braun Strowman. Oh, Byron, I would pay all of my bank account to watch you get these hands. Well, quiet, quiet. I don't want them to hear you. Yeah, you start to feel like there's nothing Braun Strowman can't do. Well, there is one thing we know for a fact Braun Strowman can't do, and that... The Hall of Famer is here! From Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 249 pounds, the Rated R Superstar, Edge. Edge has accomplished everything in his career. When Braun Strowman is out here, forget about reinforcing the ring. I hope someone contacted the local building department to reinforce this arena. And the beauty of this Falls Count Anywhere match means we might just have the deciding fall take place right here in front of us. signs of slowing down. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. Hey, you're gonna get hurt in a match like this. That's just the way it is. We're gonna lock it in here. Wow, he got out of it. Yeah, I'm not so sure he had it fully locked in. As you may remember, Kurt Angle actually fired Braun Strowman back in January of 2018, and guys, I can't help but wonder how different the WWE landscape would be if that firing actually stuck. Oh, it is aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. Oh my goodness, crushing it. Braun Strowman kicks out easily. Not yet. On the topic of Strowman's temporary firing, I could think of more than a few superstars who wished it stuck. Kane and the Bar immediately come to mind. Considering what he did to them at the Royal Rumble and WrestleMania, respectively. I don't disagree, Saxton, but let's be honest. The true highlight from Strowman's firing was when he launched Michael Cole off the raw stage like a long dart. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Shut up. What a stop. Good grief. Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh, continuing to punish them. When it comes to Falls Count Anywhere matches, for my money, there are few better than the November 2016 battle between Charlotte Flair and Sasha Banks. Too quick for him there. And it's Edge getting out of that one. Speaking of that classic Charlotte-Sasha encounter, Corey mentioned, we should add that it was the first time ever that the women's championship changed hands in a falls count. Uh-oh, the Impaler DDT. You have to like his chance. Edge might get an early three count. Braun Strowman gets the shoulder up. Gonna take more than that. Strowman is taking no prisoners right here. The 
monster among men picks his opponent up. Oh my gosh, from what heights. Oh, oh it's over. Will this be enough? Digging deep for a kick out. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. Look at Braun Strowman stalking him. And here's the monster along man, Corey. Look at the power. Showing off some of his speed there. Spear! But he's got to capitalize now. He's got the shoulders down. Not enough to end this one. We're going to take more than that. I think Edge is done playing. Here it comes! Braun Strowman doing a great job of turning that around. Here, this could be it! Oh my! This is all but over. Edge is in a real bad spot. You gotta believe this one's over. Can he finish the job? He's moving with confidence now, guys. He's always had the ability to take it up a notch. Strowman. This is not going to be good at all. Oh, Braun Strowman slamming into the mat. It just doesn't appear to be Edge's night. He's going for the pin. The singles match has come to an end. Wow. These superstars put on quite a show. Here's another look. Check them out here. I remember this part very well. Almost forgot about this one. He really put on a great show. to start the show. If that's the type of action we're gonna get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the card unfold. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks. to the ring at a combined weight of 340 pounds Kenny and Kenny the NW Sounds to me guys like this crowd is ready to get this night started They're not the only ones Cole It seems to me that these superstars want nothing more than to get their hands on one another
and their opponents. At a combined weight of 427 pounds, Kenny and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Degeneration. Guys, we're getting the night started with an amazing matchup here. You're absolutely right, Cole. In fact, I don't think there's a better way to start this night than with this match right here. He has more resolve than just about anybody on the roster. Can he do it here? When a superstar wins the Royal Rumble match, they immediately become part of an elite group. When they win a second Rumble, you're talking about your own exhibit in the Hall of Fame. But to win a third, Michael, only one man has achieved that, and that is Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold probably deserves his own win in the Hall of Fame at this point. talk about Steve Austin's three Royal Rumble match wins. You gentlemen have a great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh, he's such a tough target. Oh, man! He's looking at it. This one is over. Oh, incredible combo. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Harsh impact. No, he reverses it. This could be a cover. Dug down deep and gets the shoulder up. I 
can't believe it. He just won't go away. Oh, and it's a reversal. He might have it. Oh, a slam that hurt. This one's over, guys. He's got the shoulders down. Look out! He's left wide open here. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. This is about to get bad. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is awesome. Suicide dive. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. This is awesome. Got to wonder how this is going to end, Byron. Whatever happens, it's not going to be good. I can tell you that. Oh, the turn of features clean up your face. And Steve Austin, too quick that time. Hurricane Now. Hurricane Rana, I deal with me. He's making a statement here with this attack. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Incoming from Austin. Stop! And there it is, boys. Penny predicament. One, two, three. There's the pinfall and the victory. Here are your winners, Kenny and Stone Cold. That's it for this tag team match, and what a thrilling match it was. If these guys choose to stay together, they have all the makings of being one of the best duos WWE has ever seen. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action.